Welcome back to the American Diabetes Association's 74th Scientific Sessions. I'm Rhonda Anderson of the Moscone Center in San Francisco. Today, I'm overjoyed to be joined by Ryan Reed, NASCAR Nationwide Series driver of the number 16 Drive to Stop Diabetes presented by Lilly Diabetes Ford Mustang. Ryan is an ambassador of the Drive to Stop Diabetes program. And as such, he's had an opportunity to travel around the country and share a message of, of awareness about diabetes. We're also joined by Dr. Ann L. Peters, medical director of the University of Southern California Clinical Diabetes Program in Los Angeles. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. So Ryan, you were diagnosed with type one at the age of 17. What did that mean for you? They told you you wouldn't be able to race again. I think that was the hardest part. You know, I really didn't understand what diabetes was or what it meant for me, but when they told me I wasn't going to be able to race anymore, uh, I realized how serious it was. And, you know, that was something that I've been doing since I was a little kid, and it was really all I all I'd wanted to do when I, when I grew up. So it was really hard, and um, I just didn't know exactly where to go from there. So what was your next step? How did you meet Dr. Peters? So I started researching diabetes and athletes with diabetes and naturally Anne's name was all over the place and uh, you know there's so many athletes that Anne, uh, Anne treats and so uh, she was, her, her office was only about two hours away from where I was living at the time and uh, you know she got me in to see her pretty pretty quick and I think it was the time I was diagnosed and the time I saw her it was only about a month and so uh, it was, she really turned things around for me. It was just such an amazing experience to go in there and have her tell me that I'd be back in a race car. And, there was definitely some warnings, and if I didn't listen to her, then uh, I wouldn't be back in a race car, but you know, she, she made it happen, and I was so fortunate to meet her. So you're racing a full schedule. What does it take for an athlete on his level to be able to compete? As Ryan said, my first rule was that he had to mind me, and that means that when someone's racing a race car, the real risk is if his blood sugar going too low or perhaps too high, and that minding me really means working with me. And we work together as a team to keep Ryan both safe as well as competitive. And so that means the two of us have to touch base, we have to adjust his insulin doses, we have to figure out what he needs to eat, how to monitor his sugars. So it takes a lot of work. On the other hand, Ryan's an amazing pupil and he's done just beautifully and I think he'll continue to do so. So can you tell us then, what are some of the things you have to do while you're driving to manage your diabetes? Uh, there's, there's quite a few things that I really didn't think I'd ever have to do in a race car to be able to race, but um, one of the biggest things is uh, I have what's called a Dexcom that I mount on my dash of my race car. Uh, and basically it allows me to wirelessly monitor my blood sugar. And um, in case of a low, I have a drink on board uh, that I'll be able to have access to run through the front of my helmet, uh, and that will spike my blood sugar. And then in case of a high blood sugar, we have a, uh, a guy trained to, to come over the wall during a pit stop and actually give me an insulin injection through my fire suit. Um, you know, and you know, we, me and Ann work a lot on what I do before I ever get in the race car to make sure we, my blood sugar starts where I want and that I'm really in good enough shape and we do everything right beforehand so that way we're not having to make adjustments during the race. So you just came back from a race. How did you do? Yes, we raced in Michigan this weekend uh, and I finished 11th and so we, uh, it was a great weekend and um, you know, it's, uh, we're about a third through the season and so, so we're starting to have some success and just having a lot of fun, you know, and uh, so it's a busy week. We flew in, I flew in last night and uh, just happy to be here. This is my second time at uh, ADA, side sessions, and so it's, a, it's an amazing experience. There's so much going on and I can't wait to walk around and check it all out. If you'd like to find out more about the Drive to Stop Diabetes program, visit drivetostopdiabetes.org. And for more interviews, updates, and information from the 74th Scientific Sessions, visit diabetes.org slash breaking news. I'm Rhonda Anderson in San Francisco.